Hello and thanks for joining. In this video, we will look at Inaware's Process Runner feature called Find and Replace Value. This feature is used in scenarios where SAP transactions limit automation by not providing search or filter capabilities. Let's jump in and take a look at one such scenario. In this example, we're tasked with changing routings using the transaction code CA02. As you can see in our data, we have various operation activity numbers in different order. So if we take a look at this scenario directly in our SAP system, we go to the transaction code CA02, we'll put in our data for our material and our plant, and we'll look at our list of operations and routings. So in this case, we're going to have to select, if you look at our data, our first line is for operation activity 10, but our second line is for 50. So here in our SAP transaction, we would have to identify a way in our recording to automate the process of selecting uh, a particular operation activity number. This can be done easily through search or filtering capabilities. However, on this specific transaction, those are not offered. This is where we would use InAware's Process Runner feature, the find and replace value, where we can implement in our recording a search capability that would allow us to position on the correct operation activity number that we would want to update. Let's take a look at how we can do this in our process runner. The find and replace search functionality is offered through our GUI scripting technology. Similar to transaction, you would use GUI scripting to create a recording of the SAP transaction. Let's take a look at an example that we have. In this example, we've created a recording of the transaction C802 to change routings. The example requires us to change routings of specific operation activity numbers, as you can see below here. Thus, we need to use the find value to ensure that we're positioning on the correct activity number to change the values. So here inside my loop, I'm going to find the value. On the drop down and the dynamic skip column, I click on my find value or suppress field, and it asks me what to find. So I can click on find these values and put values here specifically. Multiple values can be found with a comma between, or you can send the value from your Excel file. That's what we'll choose in this case. So we'll set our find values to Excel column C, so that's the operation activity number column. Where to find, so this is where you would find the actual operation activity number and what column in the actual transaction. So let's take a quick look at that. We have it set to 1 right now. So if I see here, in this table, it's asking where should I be looking for this value. And this is in the first column. So we'll put 1. If we were looking for uh, in this work center column, then we would put 3. It also asks how many rows to search for in the grid. So there's two options, until the first blank value is found and where to find column is set up above. So it would be looking in the same column one, or you can select a different column in the grid to stop searching. Let's look at why we chose a different column, column seven, and as opposed to column one. In column one, you can see that the operation or the numbers here expand all the way down the sheet. So we don't want to continue searching for this value when there's no other records for the row. We've decided to choose column 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is the description column, because we know that once the description column is blank, there are no more rows of information to, to search from. Our search options are continue search from the last found row, or always search from first row, and we also have options to choose whether it would equal the value we're looking for in the Excel, begins with, ends with, or contains. And there's some advanced settings as well. Change row counter as a first row, or skip all subsequent fields of the table if search value cannot be found. So let's configure this and we'll click on OK. So now what will happen is when the recording gets to the positioning, it will search for the value coming from the Excel file, in this case, value 10 or value 50 or value 30, it will position that value as the first option and then it will change or update the data. Let's take a look at our data. 
So we're ready to run this file and we will be changing activity numbers 10, 50, and 30 on the first and on the second record 10, 60, 80, and 20. The 80 we've put in red because this actually does not exist as a record. So what we're looking is for process runner to give us back an error. So let's run this file and we'll actually get to see it since we're using GUI scripting in our SAP GUI. We'll select our system and here we go. So you can see it's searching for the different values. And here are our results. So we see the messaging that the routing was safe for the first, but we have an error back saying that 80 is not found in the SAP grid. This shows that Process Runner prevents data corruption as it won't simply select another value if that value is not found. It'll actually bring back an error. So let's go ahead and correct this error and we'll rerun it. So this should be 70, not 80. And we'll go ahead and run just from line six. And there we go. We ran the error that we found. So that's how you use the search functionality. If you need more help with this feature or any other features, please contact us at support at Thank you for watching the video. We look forward to seeing you next time.